Tonight on Primary News with the Westover Blue Jays, we will take a look at what's happening around Westover Elementary. Also, we'll spotlight several special Blue Jays. Primary News will begin in two minutes. Something's happening to the polar bear. Arctic sea ice is melting away. Two-thirds of the world's polar bears will be gone by 2050, and the entire species could be extinct yeah. by the end of the century. Go to savethepolarbear.org today. Primary News. This is the Westover Blue Jays edition. I'm Gianna. I'm Brianna, and we're your hosts for tonight. Later on in our program, we will be demonstrating how to make a healthy after-school snack and giving a tech tip that you won't want to miss. But first, let's take a look at our Westover happenings. Let's start off by welcoming some of our new staff at Westover Elementary School. We have several new basic skills teachers. Ms. Toth, Ms. Pizak, and Ms. Krimple wor with, work with students in Westover's Basic Skills Program. Our Basic Skills teachers work with our classroom teachers to make sure each student learns to the best of his or her ability. Ms. Toth <laughs> works with students in the resource room. Ms. Pizak works with students in grades 1 and 2. And Ms. Krim Krimple works with students in grades 3, 4, and 5. Next, we would like to well introduce Ms. Blavelt. She is Westover's Educational Support pers Professional of the Year. She works with Ms. Bench's second grade. We are honored to have her at our school because she helps make it a warm and happy place to be. Her smile always brightens your day. When Ms. Blavelt received this award, she was surprised, thrilled, and honored. We would also like to congratulate Ms. Luria on being named Westover's Teacher of the Year. When Ms. Luria received this award, she was shocked and excited that her colleagues think so highly of her. Ms. Luria has been teaching kindergartner at Westover for 14 years and taught in both Asbury Park and Newark four years before that. Before that, Ms. Luria loves working with the students at Westover and the creativity and exploration that keeps her motivated. Next, we will join Kayla and Bethany at Westover for a tech tip. They will be demonstrating Google's new friendly student search engine, Kiddle.co. Sid Save Search, www.kiddle.co. Kiddle is a kids save visual search engine. Kiddle returns results for each query as follows. Save trusted sites that are not written specifically for kids, but have content written in a simple way, easy for kids to understand, hand-picked and checked by Kittle editors. Typically results 4 to 7. Save sites and pages written specifically for kids, hand-picked and checked by Kittle editors. Typically results 1 to 3. Save famous sites that are written for adults, providing expert content, but are harder for kids to understand filtered by Google Safe Search. Typically results 8 and onwards. Since Kittle results are either hand-picked and checked by Kittle editors or filtered by Google Safe Search, you know you get your kid-oriented results without any explicit content. In case some bad words are present in a search query, our guard robot will block the search. You can request additional keyword blocking by using Kittle's keyword blocking form. You can request additional site blocking using Kittle site blocking form. If you have trouble reading or writing, you could go to Kittle and search reading or writing games, and they'll give you a variety of games and images as well. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed Westover Primary News Tech. When the students of Westover aren't busy doing research, they're participating in our monthly spirit days. 
On January 29th, the students wore their crazy Mitch Match socks. Every student at Westover is important on February 5th. Students and staff were encouraged to wear their favorite sports team shirt. At Westover, we are all part of the team. March 2nd was Dr. Seuss's birthday and Read Across America Day. To celebrate, students wore mismatched clothes and, had, and we had students from Intermediate North Soar read to our classes. Be sure to watch your calendar for upcoming Spirit Days. Include... During the month of February, West Stowers participated in the Jump Rope for Heart program. Raises awareness about heart disease and how to avoid heart attack or stroke. West Dover students raised over $6,000. $6, the American Heart Association gives back to West Dover as well. Last week, year, we received $300 in certificates to use for the physical education program. Students who participate are also able to earn prizes. The students at Westover had the opportunity to participate in family game nights on January 27th and March 2nd. Families enjoy a night with no homework and the opportunity to play games together. In other Blue Jay news, the Westover Band, Orchestra, and Chorus have been diligently practicing for their upcoming spring concert. The Chorus concert will have a color theme featuring songs related to the colors of the rainbow and is scheduled for May 19th. The Band and Orchestra concert will be held on June 2nd. The shows are sure to be sensational. Make sure you don't miss them. It's time to take a short break. Coming up after the break, we'll take a look at additional events taking place at Westover Elementary. How far would you go to help someone? Would you go to the end of your driveway? Would you cross a street? Would you cross an ocean? Would you go if you could use your knowledge to teach someone? And in the process, maybe learn something yourself. Life is calling. How far will you go? Peace Corps. I knew I needed help paying for college. I've always wanted to be a teacher. I used to make worksheets for my friends to do. No one ever wanted to come over. My guidance counselor told me about federal student aid, and my mom helped me fill out the free application. I got the grants and loans that made school possible. There is a way to pay for school. You just have to find it. My name is Caitlin. I'm going to be a special education teacher. I'm going to live my dream. Welcome back to the Primary News. I'm Deanna. Let's take a look at the fifth grade's wax museum. To commemorate Women's History Month and African American History Month, the fifth graders hosted the Wax Museum. Over the course of a month, each student selected a figure from women's or African American history to research. They read a book, researched on Chromebooks, and created a trifold display on their historical figure. The accumulation of the project was the Wax Museum itself. Students dressed as their historical figure, brought in props, and were and were pre prepared to give a brief oral presentation as their chosen figure. As part of their immigration unit, fourth grade students celebrated and shared their heritage by dressing in traditional clothing, creating a passport, creating a display to share, and preparing and tasting samples of the dish from different country, parts of the world. In April, fifth grade students will be commemorating Earth Day by helping to tidy the grounds at Westover. Students will living Earth Day's motto to reduce, reuse, and recycle. A flyer has been sent home if you wish to purchase this year's Earth Day t-shirt. Our fourth grades have been busy exploring mathematics and healthy eating with the help of ShopRite. In February, ShopRite coordinated a family day where parents were invited to come share the lessons that students experienced when ShopRite came to visit our classrooms in the fall. These lessons will be put into action on a field trip to ShopRite in March. 
Westover second graders have started to prepare for career day, which will be held on Friday, June 10th. Students have picked their careers and begun interviewing people in their chosen field. They will be creating a soda bottle doll to resemble themselves dressed for their career choice, as well as designing a, a teaching poster to share with their career day audience. This is the second year that third graders at Westover are participating in the Recorder Karate Program. Starting in October, students learn songs at school and practice at home. They are tested every two weeks in order to progress through the belt, starting at white and hoping to progress to black by the time of their concert. This year's recorder concert will be held on April 8th. In a few moments, we'll join CJ and Leah as they demonstrate how to make a healthy afternoon snack. It's time to take a short break. Stay with us. We'll be back in two minutes. What's it like when you hear your calling? Will you ignore it? Or will you listen? What if it calls you to go halfway around the world? To serve people you've never met? What will you do when you hear your calling? Peace Corps, life is calling. How far will you go? There are some things you simply cannot control. And some really important things you can, like keeping your family healthy, managing finances, preparing for retirement. It's all here in this booklet from the American Diabetes Association, because we want everyone to be healthy and happy. Order your free copy of Planning for a Healthy Life now to help manage the things you can control. Ever get home after school and are looking for something to eat? Me too. Let's see a little, a special little snack that you can prepare and it's healthy too. Here we are for a recipe for ants on a log. There is no cooking required, the serving size is two logs, and the preparation time is 10 minutes. The supplies you will need for this recipe are plastic knives for spreading the peanut butter or the cream cheese and sharp knives for cutting vegetables. The ingredients for this are celery hearts, each stalk cut in half, cream cheese or peanut butter, and a half cup of raisins. The adult preparations are wash and cut the celery stalks in halves. Spread about two teaspoons of cream cheese or peanut butter on each piece of celery. and then you top it with a row of raisins. This is an experiment and be creative with the different types of bugs, logs, and spreads. Try craisins or golden raisins as bugs, carrots, carrot or, or jacima sticks as logs, and flavored cream cheese or hummus as spreads. Mix and match. This will be a good Well, that's a wrap for tonight's show. For Westover and Primary News, I'm Gianna. And I'm Brianna. Thanks for watching.